Hello, everybody. Welcome into Watch Me Wednesday, episode number 131. So today, I wanted to bring to you a little virtual uh, slide or uh, trunk show. I was going to say slideshow, but not a slideshow, a trunk show. Um, but so I have some of my newer quilts. I may have shown some of them, or I may have just posted pictures of them. But I'd really like to share them with you because I think they're pretty cool. And some of them are actually Judy Niemeyer quilts as well. So I think you'll really enjoy looking at those. So if you wouldn't mind, hit that share button so that other people can join in on the trunk show. And I'm going to start. The first quilt I'm going to start with, actually the first few quilts I'm going to start with are from my new fabric line, which will be in my online shop anytime soon. It's the, uh, my Mandela Magic fabric collection. Uh, for those of you who have already grabbed some of the strip packs, um, I have five left, I think. So um, some of you can start working on your quilts. This one, this quilt is a pattern of mine called Triangularity. And I first introduced this pattern with my... Um, Feline Fine Fabric Line. Let me make sure I got it right sides up. Uh, right side, there we go. And my arms are not going to be long enough and I don't have a helper that's tall enough with me today. So this is my triangularity. So it's, it's a quilt compromised of many um, small triangles, but if you can see there's a secondary design. Um, it gives you these large black triangles. And it's made out of the entire collection. And my arms are going to kill me at the end of this, by the way. So this pattern, along with the others, can be found on my website. Um, and I put the link above me for you. Now, I'm super excited about this next one because the pattern just came in. So it is there for you. My jelly beans pattern. Woo! -hoo! Yes, and it is available as a uh, booklet now because I have the physical booklets and the PDF download. So here's the quilt um, for those of you who love jelly beans. And this is this pattern is I think is really fun in my Mandela Magic fabric, but how fun would that be in any other kind? So say you like uh, Good and Plenty's, it would be pink and white and black. Wouldn't that be fun? Um, or even just um, you know, K-Facet or any other bright and bold, something really cool for those jelly beans. So I love this quilt because it helps you to master those curves as well. Yep, and you do get the templates too, by the way. So you can make your own templates because um, it's included in the pattern. I'm going to get a workout putting these up. Okay, my next one is also now, I'm super excited. This one is also available online in my shop. It's called Zig in My Zag. And this one is a paper piece pattern. Um, really not a difficult pattern, paper piece, but you get a secondary zigzag. So what am I waiting for? Showing you, I need to show you the quilt. Here we go. So the, this is Zig in My Zag. And this one I can actually, boy, I can actually hold this one up all by myself. So I love this because you get that secondary zigzag pattern in there with that uh, the, the darker background that goes through here. Uh, and I separated it with a sashing because it kind of gives it um, a neat kind of effect. So when I designed that, I just really, I don't know, I really liked how that came out. So that zig in my zag. This one's another big one. Apparently, oh no, this one... This one is not too, too big, but a lot of you are familiar with this quilt because you joined me in my Pansy Garden quilt along. Well, I did this quilt in my Mandala Magic fabric line, and I love it with the dark background and the oranges and the pinks. Whoops, let me get this up. There we go. So look how pretty that is with the dark background. Isn't that really, really pretty? So these are all in my newest fabric collection that will be in the shop really soon. So hopefully within the next couple weeks. But um, that's Pansy Garden. And then, oh, 
Here come the Judy Niemeyer quilts for you Judy Quilt Works fans. Okay, so this quilt here is called Vintage Compass. My friend Lisa Slinsky, who is like my right hand lady who helps me out, um, she did this, she made the quilt top for me and um, Margaret Solomon Gunn quilted this and it's all done out of my Mandala Magic fabric and it's a nice doable quilt um, if you are if you love Judy Niemeyer's um, patterns. This quilt is actually in, it's actually pretty easy to do. And now when I say easy, um, I mean, yes, it's easy. It's time consuming, but easy. You can actually do this probably, I've had people who I taught this class um, do it in about a weekend. So but you have to sit at it for a while. But anyway, I want to get up close just so you can see some of the quilting on this one. So Margaret um, Solomon Gunn did the quilting on this. Isn't that just simply gorgeous? Isn't that gorgeous? So she did the quilting on this quilt. Um, and by the way, there's the back. Because I know how many of you love the backs. And yes, I do embroider my um quilt labels as well so now this one here is another judy this is also lisa put this one together this one is sundial there's the label for that and i just love how these all came out in my collection they all just turned out really pretty this one actually you can use a strip sets with i i have to look but i don't recall how many strip sets you need for this. Um, so if Lisa, if you're on here, if you can comment how many strip sets you use, I'd have to go look at the pattern. But this one uses the strip sets, which I have five strip sets left. And I think I have the pattern still available too. So this is Sundial. Isn't that pretty? It's a nice medallion style quilt. And it really sh shows off those colors in the fabric collection which I really super love. And I love that big, big orange center. Played with that a little bit before we chose the orange center. Okay, those are my Mandala Magic fabric. Now I'm gonna show you some with my Ancient Etchings fabric that I still have in stock. Um, so I wanna show you, and these are a couple of Judy Niemeyer's that I pulled out because I just think they need to be revisited because I think they're pretty. So. This is my prickly pine cones. Um, it's, you can use it as a tree skirt if you wanted. You can use it for a round table. But it's a rainbow version. Isn't that pretty? And that's in my Ancient Etchings collection. And yes, I still have some of this online in my shop. So grab it while you can. Um, it's, I just love this rainbow version, and Lisa pieced this one for me as well. Um, I just loved playing with this one in Quiltster. It was really fun. Now, the next one is super cool because it's the same quilt, but done in two different colorways. Now, I know I showed you this a long time ago, and I wish I actually had somebody else here to stand next to me so you could see them both together. We did a cool version and a warm version, and... Somebody put a thing in there. This is a cool version. Um, this one was um, pieced by Lisa, the cool version. She wanted to do the cool version. And I did the warm version because I wanted to do the warm version. So here's the cool version. And this is all my Ancient Etchings collection. So you can take my Ancient Etchings collection and you can separate it into cool colors and warm colors. So this is a, a quote works pattern called Raindrops. And this is the, what I called the cool version. And I just love how that came out. So I'm going to come a little closer. I don't know if you could see. And then let me show you the warm version, which is the one that I pieced put together. And again, there's my, there's my label. Always remember to label your quilts, people. Always. It's important. Okay, and here's the warm version. So I wish I really could hold these up next to each other so you could see. But here's the warm version. 
And so depending on what kind of mood you're in that day, you can hang one of the quilts one day if you're in a nice, sunny, happy um, mood or if you're in a, in a um, just kind of like you want to be quiet and restful, peaceful, use the cool version. So this is the warm version. And I'm not sure which I like better. I like them both a lot. So anyway, those are the quilts that I brought in for my um, virtual trunk show today. Um, and yeah, I love, love both versions too. And I like to do that um, with my collections. If you can, you know, take your fabrics and you can kind of divide them and kind of conquer. And you could really make a pattern look very different um, when you change up the colors. So that's a, a really great way to see that happen just by doing that. Um, it, they, they almost look like two different types of quilts. So really, really super cool. So I'm glad I could share those with you. Um, I, again, I want to tell you again, these two, if you've been waiting, because I know that some of you got in the PDF downloads, but these two patterns that I just showed you, those two quilts, they are now in stock in the booklet format. So if you want a hard copy, they are in stock. And I did put it in above me. If you are here on Facebook above me, I put the link there. If you're uh, on YouTube, it's below me. <laughs> Um, but you can grab your copies and you can make one of those quilts. And let me see if I can dig through and I can quickly show them to you again. Um, I, cause I just threw them in at the bottom here. Here's the jelly beans. Here's jelly beans. One of my favorites. I love it because it beefs you up on your curves. And then here is the zig in my zag which I love too and this one again this is paper piece so you've got a paper piece one and a curved one so that's my trunk show for today um, I hope you're all having a fabulous Wednesday and I'm glad you took the time to join me here today um, I am going to I have to mail out some of your orders so that's what I'm doing right after this I'm going to go mail out some orders and I'm going to uh have a, hopefully a great rest of the day, hopefully get a little sewing in, do a little chores, but that's, that's what I have for you today. I will be back next week and I hope you join me as well. Um, but stay tuned for other good things popping up here and there on my Facebook page. Keep, keep an eye on that. If you're on Instagram, join me at my handle is at quilter623. Follow me there and I'm also on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe there because I have lots of tutorials and videos that go on YouTube as well. And it's under Canton Village Quilt Works there. So thanks so much for joining me. I hope to see you making one of my quilts soon. If you do, message me or uh, email me with a photo. I would love to see it. Take care and have a happy, happy Wednesday, everybody. Happy quilting. Love you guys. Bye-bye.